What's up guys, Christian Value 64 here and today I will be doing another ranking tier list. Today this will be a bit different, well different than the last one that I did. We're, I'm going to be ranking the WWE Champions from 2009 to now. So yeah, um, I'm a WWE fan so the reason I'm doing this is because um, one of these champions were the greatest of all time, unlike others, which are the no. All right, so let's start. So the first one that we got in the list is the phenomenal AJ Styles. When he was WWE champion, he was like for 300 days, but then he lost to the Daniel Bryan. But I'm gonna put him in. S rank because he's one of the greatest and longest reigning WWE champions from SmackDown. Yep, he is a two time WWE champion, I think. Yeah, all right. So the next one in the list is Alberto Del Rio. Um, I'm gonna put him in B. I didn't like his reign. That much, but it was kind of good, I guess. But I didn't even care, anyways. All right, so the next one we got is Batista. Also B. Yep. All right, so we got Bray Wyatt when he was WWE champion back in 2017. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put him in the air, hold up, A rank, cause he, I wasn't expecting him to be WWE champion, but his reign was, was great, even though he lost it to Randy Orton in WrestleMania <laughs> that same year, but now he's the universal champion as The Fiend in SmackDown. Alright, so the next one we got in the list is Brock Lesnar. D. I don't like his reign. Nope. Uh-uh. I don't like his reign. He's a part-timer. He doesn't deserve it. And I hope he loses the title against Rey Mysterio this Sunday at Survivor Series. Yeah. Anyways, the next one we got in the list is the best in the world, CM Punk. He's going with AJ Styles. His reign was amazing. 434 days as WWE Champion, but then losing it to The Rock. Yeah, but still, his reign was awesome. I I enjoyed it. One of the greatest WWE Champions ever. Alright, so the next one we got in the list is Daniel Bryan. Um, C. Ever since he showed the Echo Friendly WWE Championship, I started not to like his reign. Because that championship looked terrible. But I'm not going to put it with Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar's reign is the worst. Alright, so the next one we got is Dean Ambrose. Also known as John Moxley in AEW, but when he was in the WWE, he was called Dean Ambrose. Anyways, uh, I will put him. Oh, hmm, uh, this is a tough one. I'll put him with Bray Wyatt and A. His reign was great as well, but then he lost it to AJ Styles. Back in 2016. And Backlash. But yeah, his reign. It was, his reign was great. Yeah, great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah, Dean Ambrose. The Lunatic Fringe. Oh, former Lunatic Fringe. Alright. Next one is. The Rated R Superstar. Edge. S rank. His title reign was also great. Um, uh, he's a Hall of Famer right now, obviously. <laughs> One of my favorite superstars. 
not I would say probably of all time, but my favorite superstar of all time is John Cena. All right, so next one we have is Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy uh is going on the A rank. His reign was awesome. Uh, great. When uh, he won it back in 2008, I think. Yeah. When he beat a Triple H and Edge in a triple threat match. When he became WWE Champion for the first time. That was a great moment for him. Alright, so the next one we got in the list is Jinder Mahal. I'm putting him with Brock Lesnar. I didn't like his reign. I wasn't expecting him to be WWE Champion. And his title reign was boo. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Alright, so we got... So the next one we got is uh, my all-time favorite superstar, John Cena. Um, uh, S rank, because he's a 16-time world champion. One of the greatest superstars of all time. The doctor of Thogonomics. The leader of the C-Nation. And former WWE champion as well, like I said. So, yeah. Alright, so next one we got is Kofi Kingston. I'm putting him in S rank as well because his title reign was awesome this year. Even though he lost it to Brock Lesnar in like 9 seconds, which I'm still mad about it. <sighs> can't. I can't forget that moment. Alright, so we the next one we got is The Miz. Uh, mm, I'm putting with Daniel Bryan. His reign was decent, but not that good at the same time. Alright, so we got Randy Orton. A rank. No, not S rank. A rank. There we go. Um, yeah, he's a 14-time world champion. Uh, he became WWE, the last time he became WWE champion was he, when he defeated, uh, Bray Wyatt. Yep. Alright, so, here, and the next one we got is Rey Mysterio. B, cause his WWE championship reign didn't last long, cause he lost it to John Cena at the same night. And we got the People's Champion, The Rock. Hip to some what the rock is cooking he's going on the s rank one of the greatest superstars of all time as well the rock the people's champion the jabroni beating pie eating trailblazing eyebrow raising i don't know what else he says <laughs> uh all right so the next one he got we got is roman reigns a rank as well um his title reign was great. He's a three-time WWE champion, former Universal champion as well. When the last time he became WWE champion, when he beat Triple H back at WrestleMania 32. Yep. All right. So next one we got is Seth Rollins. Mister Burn It Down is also going on the A rank. Uh, that's when he became when he was a heel. In WWE, and I didn't like him that time when he was a heel. But yeah, all right. So the next one we got is Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior. C. I um didn't like his reign as well. Kind of decent, I guess. But hey, who knows? All right. So the last one we got is the game. The Cerebral Assassin, the King of Kings, Triple H, is also going on the S rank as one of the greatest WWE champions. He is a 13-time world champion, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is my tier list and of the WWE champions from 2009 to 2019. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this list if you guys don't agree.